Alexander, I'd like you to tell us a little bit about Greek Energy Forum. What is it? What was the inspiration when you, when you started a few years ago? When we started a few years ago? Uh, well, the Greek thank you very much, Marina. Thank you uh, very much, everybody, for being here uh, with us tonight in this uh, special event for us. Well, the Greek Energy Forum, for those of you that uh, don't know already, it's basically an international energy think tank that was found back in January of 2013 here in London by Greek energy professionals working for uh, some of the biggest international energy corporations. Having said, said that though, this is a 100% voluntary uh, effort uh, on an individual basis. So everybody is putting, uh, apart from their energy expertise, also their free time and will to contribute. Uh, having begun in uh, 2013, we now have six branches across the globe in London, in Brussels, in Athens, in Dubai, in uh, Washington, and in Nicosia, in Cyprus. So uh, you can find us in at least six cities of the world so far. And uh, our objective, yeah. uh, I guess uh, uh, that's something that we should also uh, cover, <laughs> uh, is basically to try and be, let's say, helpful and uh, a conduit of um, communication and good news uh, between uh, the international community and Greece. Um, okay. So this might sound like an interview for <laughs> that I do for, for, for candidates, but where do you see the, the forum in five years from now? What, what is your vision? What would you like to, to achieve? Yeah. I, I guess the, the vision is to have uh, achieved, have fully covered our three main objective pillars, if I may say. Um, number one is to establish a platform of exchange, for exchange of ideas and for an ongoing dialogue around, around energy developments in Greece and Southeastern Europe. Mm -hmm. You know, something uh, that I forgot to mention is that although we're called Greek Energy Forum, that's more of a legacy thing rather than uh, where we would like to be in five years' time, where we would like to have a, more of a regional approach and scope in our work. So that's number one. Uh, so the second objective is to help assist in policy making, and this is something that we do in terms of drafting proposals and submitting proposals to national governments in the region, but also to uh, decision uh, makers. And uh, we work very closely with uh, uh, the Greek government, also with uh, before, uh, and uh, hopefully with the incumbent one. Uh, we work with uh, national governments uh, in the region, even with the commission and also with embassies, mm -hmm. if I may say so. Just to give you an example, on the 1st of June in Athens, we're organizing a closed event, an energy update, only oriented to embassies, just to give an update on what's changing in the energy sector. And the final uh, pillar, in terms of our objectives and, and where we would like to be in five years' time, is uh, informing the energy industry and businesses about what's happening and what's changing in Greece and in the region. And we are very glad that we already have interest and we are seen as a focal point by international organizations at least, you know, to ask us a question, to help us uh, arrange a meeting in Greece. The good thing is that our help, our assistance doesn't cost them anything. Uh, we're not just a non-profit organization. I would even say we're a non-revenue organization because it's 100% voluntary. <laughs> and uh, last but not least is to inform the public opinion about best practices. And this is exactly what we tried to achieve today because you are the lie, all 14 of you, you are the best examples of uh, what can be done at its best within the energy uh, industry, and you will always be a source of inspiration for us all, young and older energy professionals across the globe. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.